Hello, teacher. So, today I will teach you how to unpack our milk or most essential learning competency. I will show you all some techniques on how can we do this easily and I will show you also some example of unpacking of milk from grade 1 to grade 10 with teacher Bean. So, according nga kay Nielsen that unpacking of standards may lead to confidence, not to chaos for learners and teachers. If you truly know your lesson, you can easily do unpacking of milk. Madali lang to. So, of course, may mga materials ka na kailangan. Dapat, with, nasa yung learning materials mo, yung teacher's guide, at pwede rin naman yung old DLL mo or lesson plan. Pwede to maging pattern on how can you unpack milk easily. Pero of course, makita mo nga lang yung learning competency. Alam mo na yung gagawin activities, di ba? Pero maganda na i-take notes mo isa-isa kung ano ba yung mga part na meron dito na dapat matutunan ng mga bata specifically and in general. So, madali mo siyang makakaisip ka ng activities and different types of assessment para dun sa learners mo. And then, you should also consider, of course, yung level ng ating estudyante. So, very important yan in unpacking of mail. And also, of course, yung pinaka-time allotment. Kung pa uh, yung time uh, na tinatawag, framework, kung gano'ng katagal to dapat ituro para ma mo lahat no part no learning competency. Now, what are the different steps to unpack milk? For the first step, read the standards or the milk as a team, as a whole for the whole learners. So, for example, here we have here grade 5 English. So, we will choose one for the quarter 3 the summarize various type text types based on elements. Example, ito yung napili nating learning competency sa MELP. Summarize various text, type, text types based on elements for English, grade 5. So for the step 2, we need to look for the signal words for the knowledge, which is the noun, we have in circle here, and the skills, the verbs, which we box, and conditions for attaining such standards and competency na naka-underline. For our example here, the noun which is referring to knowledge is the text types. As you can see, yung nakabilog sa ating milk na halimbawa. Then, yung ating verbs or referring to skills is the summarize. Yun yung skills na dapat nilang matutunan. And the conditions for attaining that standard is the based on elements yung nakaguhit, yung scoop and lawak ng pag-aaralan. So, yan yung halimbawa sa learning competency. And from there, we need to analyze and make connections between the signal words so we can formulate and objectives. We will develop the learning objectives to attain the signal words. These are the unpack and subtask competencies na tinatawag. From that signal words, makaka-generate tayo ng mga objectives. For the step 3, we need to write a separate learning targets from there. Remember to keep the core language intact at all times. And do not omit any part of the standard. Pwedeng maging reference nyo dito ay yung Teacher's Guide, Learning Materials, and your old DLL. So, pwede siya maging basis din. Then, determine the knowledge required in the standard sa paggawa. Next is step 4. Unpack all the standards before digging into how the standards will be taught and assessed. First muna, i-unpack muna natin yung mga standard bago tayo mag-isip ng mga activities or type of assessment. Then, we may pull the academic vocabulary from that standard based on sa mga keywords. Next is step 5. Read all of the unpacked standards to determine the standards you will prioritize. These are often called the power standard and essential knowledge. Remember, yung standards, we have to determine yung essential are the ones we are going to spend Yung bulk of our time, teaching, assessing, and reteaching, and reassessing. Kasi dito yung standards, we can imagine na yung 
bata natin malilipto na without mastery. Yung mahalagang matutunan nila na hindi sila pwedeng pumunta sa next lesson hanggat wala silang mastery dun sa topic na yon or competency. So, kailangan malaman natin dun sa mga inampak natin ano ba yung dapat unahin at i-prioritize at magkaroon ng time na mahaba. So now, we have here an example of our unpack milks in English for English 5, quarter 3. Yung example natin kanina. So makikita nyo, we formulated a uh, sub-learning objectives, yun yung uh, unpack ng milk. So nakakreate tayo ng 4 examples. As you can see, we have identified informative text types, summarize the narrative text based on elements, distinguish text types, according to purpose, and create generalizations. Next example of unpack milk in mathematics. We have here for grade 8, quarter 1. Next is Araling Panlipunan. This is AP1. For grade 1, quarter 1. Next is for Filipino subject, grade 4, quarter 2. Next is for MAPE, for the arts, we have grade 5, quarter 1, for our example. Next is for the science subject, this is for grade 8, quarter 1. And last, we have for ESP or Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao, this is for Grade 5, Quarter 1. It is essential that the teachers become proficient in unpacking the standards and milk or milk into learning targets so that the pathway to mastery becomes evident and effective for teachers and our students. The MELP is created, was created by our Department of Education because of our current situation of this pandemic of this year. Now, we, wala nga tayong face-to-face -face learning. That's why nag-come up sila to revise the, uh, the learning competency. But still going pa rin naman yung ating K-12 curriculum, hindi pa rin yung nagbabago. Nagkaroon lang ng revisions sa learning competency ng pagtuturo, uh, na ituturo natin for this year. Because of the situation, this MELT is aligned, still aligned pa rin sa ating local and national standards at it applicable in our real life situation now and in our teaching setting of this year. So, naka-align siya doon. So, teacher home, natutunan mo ngayon kung paano mag-unpack ng MELT. So, madali lang to at makakatulong to sa atin sa pang-araw-araw nating pagtuturo. Not only this year, but in the future also. So, makakaisip ka, makaka-generate ka ng mga activities and different types of assessments na way mo para ma-attain mo yung learning competency at matutuhan ng mga learners yung madali yung lesson. So, hope teacher natutunan mo yan today at ma-apply natin sa ating pagtuturo.
So, maraming salamat. Till next time, with Teacher Bean.